This tutorial video will demonstrate how to properly dispense medication to a patient. One of the many benefits of the MDScript software is that it integrates seamlessly with most EMR platforms, either directly or via a SureScripts ePrescribing interface. This functionality helps cut down the time it takes to dispense and reduces the need to enter the same information in two different systems. When a patient chooses to receive their prescribed medication at your clinic, you would charge your visit as normal via your EMR platform, but when it comes to sending the electronic prescription, in this case, you would select your own practice as the quote-unquote pharmacy where the medications will be dispensed. Within less than a minute, the e-prescription will be sent over to the MD Scripps software and the information will appear in the dispensing section under the patient queue. To start a dispensing transaction, verify the information of the patient you are dispensing to, then click on the shopping cart icon next to their name. The patient screen will allow you to enter or edit any additional information as required. If the patient's preferred language is Spanish, be sure to choose the option in the applicable drop-down so that the printed materials they receive will automatically be translated into Spanish. Before proceeding, make sure you select the appropriate reimbursement type so that the transaction is recorded properly. To continue, you can use the buttons at the bottom of the screen or the steps option in the top left section of the screen. Both will take you to the next step in the transaction. The cart screen will display the medications that were e-prescribed from your EMR into MD Scripts. From here, click the Select RX button next to the first medication, then using a barcode scanner, scan the barcode on the medication package. If you do not have a barcode scanner, you can also use the Browse Inventory function and simply select the medication from your available inventory by clicking on the shopping cart next to the medication. If additional medications were prescribed, follow the same steps until all medications have been added to the cart. All of the SIGLINE, Day Supply, and ICD-10 codes should populate over from the EMR. If anything is missing, be sure to add it before proceeding. The final screen is the checkout screen. Once you reach this step, the transaction is recorded and the medications are considered dispensed to the patient. The only remaining steps are to print the patient-specific pharmacy label and affix it to the corresponding medication. Supply any additional printable materials for the patient as needed by using the buttons in the Printing Options section. Our tutorial video about the pharmacy label will further explain this section. If you have any additional questions about the dispensing process, you can contact the support team at First Coast Health Solutions and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Additional support videos are also available on our YouTube channel.